Hey, what's up? This is Satchel. I'm the lead guitar player for Steel Panther. I'm also the guy who tells all the other dudes in the band what to do. And I write all the songs and I tell the singer what to sing and what lyrics to sing and what notes to hit. And uh, I threaten everybody with violence and shit from time to time to keep them in line. But uh, today I'm here to talk about my guitar. I play Kramers exclusively because they pay me uh, over $100 a year to do that. And um, let me tell you something, $100 goes a long way when you're addicted to drugs and shit. So um, I'll tell you what, this, Kramer, this particular Kramer, let's go through it. Uh, let's just go through the whole guitar so you know what's going on here. This is called a headstock. And that's, I don't even know why they really have this anymore. They don't need them. Steinberger proved that, right? Like they, but they, they kind of look cool. Like Steinbergers, you know, you ever seen a Steinberger? They don't have any headstocks. They just put the string in and they tune them down here. You kind of look like a dick with those, honestly. I mean, there's no way to look cool. If you don't have a headstock, you're rocking and it's like, dude, you look stupid. So that's the reason why there's still headstocks because people tried it without the headstocks and you look stupid. But these are called tuning pegs and you twist them and then they make the guitar string tighter or looser and then you're able to tune your guitar. Now, I don't tune my guitar anymore because, not only because I just don't give a shit, but also because we have hired a guy that I used with the money that I get from Kramer to be my guitar tech. Now you'd be surprised at how many guys will work for less than $100 a year to be a guitar tech. Uh, especially for Steel Panther because we have so many girls at our shows just willing to suck the guitar tech's dick to get to the guitar player. So that's a whole nother can of worms. We're going to get into that later. But then we go up from there. We got, we got a locking nut. Very, very important because it got a Floyd Rose tremolo system. The greatest tremolo system ever made by humans. Okay. They haven't changed anything in the design in the last probably 85, 90 years since it was invented. Uh, you got your fine tuners right here. You got your, your bar right here. It screws on, it's attached somehow, scientifically. And um, it won't go anywhere and it won't go out of tune. I can do this. Look at what I can do with the strings, huh? Look at that. It's a fun little game. And uh, it's still perfectly in tune. Of course, you can't tell because I'm not plugged into anything. You're gonna have to just trust me on this one kids um it's as close to being in tune as you can get and uh these are the frets i've got like i don't even know like 30 or 40 frets on this thing and uh, they go all the way from a very very low sound to a very very high sound and all the sounds in between that you can make with a guitar so i can make the really chunky awesome sounds and then i can make real high whittly, 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 whittly. And you do the harmonics and then I can do a dive bomb and that's pretty much all the sounds of a guitar right there for heavy metal. But that's not what's important. What's more important is these are the called pickups and these are made by Seymour Duncan, I think. And uh, I don't know what kind they are. I think there might be JBs or something. And without those, you, if those aren't working, you're going to sound like a dick. Okay. And you cannot be an electric guitar player in a heavy metal band and not have pickups. Okay. It's like, it's like being a pimp and not having hookers. Okay. You can, you're, you're not going to get anywhere. You need these things and they got to be attached to something. What are they attached to? I don't know. Satchel, you're a professional guitar player, right? Kind of. They're attached to those things. It's called knobs. The dudes you hang out with at your school are called knobs too, but these are a different kind of knob, okay? This is the volume knob. That's the only one that you touch, okay? If you have two other knobs on your guitar, don't touch them. The only thing that happens when you touch these other knobs is if you turn them the other way, you're gonna sound like Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits, okay? You do not wanna sound like Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits. So turn them back up and everything needs to be all the way up. Okay, then you got this little switch here. It switches between your pickups. Okay, 
If you're a guitar player, you need to know how to switch between your pickups. Otherwise, you're gonna sound like a dick, okay? Because you don't wanna do a rhythm guitar part and have it all the way on this pickup unless you're Mark Knopfler. And we all know what Mark Knopfler sounds like at this point, which is, I don't know. I'm not gonna comment on Mark Knopfler, okay? All I know is he doesn't look as cool as this. I'm just, I'm gonna get Mark Knopfler hate mail. Hey dude, Satchel, this is Mark Knopfler. That was fucked what you said about me. Bring it, Mark Knopfler. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete your mail. Uh, Mark Knopfler could probably tell you what I'm gonna tell you about this. Look at this. Detuner, uh-huh. Put it back in, all the way back up. It's blowing your fucking mind right now. I know. These are strap holders. They're strap locks. I don't know who makes them, but you can throw the guitar around your back, which is really awesome. Although the last time I did that, it broke off and it flew into the crowd. So I can't talk about that because there's a lawsuit pending and uh, pretty sure the girl's gonna be fine. They're very, very resilient when they're 10 years old. Something hits you in the head, get right back up, go, go to another show, you know? Um, so that's, oh, that's where you put your thing in the hole. <laughs> Not your penis. I mean, your penis probably won't fit in there unless you're our drummer. Because our drummer, well, I don't want to talk about it right now. It's got a very small penis. Then the back of the guitar, look at this. It says Kramer on the back too. It's another plug for Kramer. Maybe I can get an extra 25 bucks out of them this year. Uh, these are where the springs go. You need springs if you have a whammy bar. And this is from too much use, people. This means Kramer needs to give me another guitar. It's time. And, uh, oh, got a little thing to keep my tools in case I want to work on my car at home. Put things in there and they won't go anywhere. And uh, this is a uh, little, this little line here is exactly perfectly straight. So if I'm like uh, putting up wallpaper in my house or something, I can measure it with that line and it'll be, I know that everything's gonna line up. I don't have, I don't think it has anything to do with the guitar though. They just put it on there because they want to show you that they can do perfectly straight lines. Um, this right here is where all the electronics is. I know I'm rambling right now, but I don't give a shit. You can just turn this off. You don't have to watch this. I don't even know why you're still watching at this point. There's stuff in there. I've never opened this because if you open this, you could seriously electrocute yourself. Okay? Don't if you're a kid, don't open this. You ruin your whole fucking guitar. All right? And also remember that no matter what you do, no matter what you plug this into, no matter what kind of amp you use, if you suck on guitar, you're still gonna sound like shit, okay? Check, it, check this out, this is a little trick I learned. I do this when I'm on stage. Like that? That was it. That's